Welcome back guys, uh, it's Cat Channel Couch Co-op again, and uh, today we're going to be talking a, a little bit about another, I guess, license that we grew up here with, and uh, it is Scott Pilgrim. Uh, we also kind of wanted to touch on it because uh, I, there's rumblings that they're going to re-release the old game, which we're going to play, uh, Scott Pil Pilgrim vs. the World. And uh, so, yeah, anyway, we're going to do kind of like a, another retrospective and then uh, eventually talk about the game itself. But yeah. um, So, you know, Scott Pilgrim is a book written by Brian Lee O'Malley. Uh, the books kind of ran from uh, basically uh, August 18th, 2004 to July 20th, uh, 2010. Uh, they actually made the theatrical release in uh, August 13th, 2010. Uh, the one which is featuring Michael Sarah and a couple of other slew of uh, stars that we can get into a little later. Um, oddly enough, the uh, the books were originally uh, black and white. Um, I believe there is a color version out now, but mm -hmm. uh, some more tidbits about the story before we'll, we'll jump over to Shapes. Yeah, I mean, uh, it's the thing that was funny about it is, is that, you know, I guess it's kind of like a, it makes fun of hipster culture. Uh, which I guess we kind of maybe amalgam into a little bit, but um, it's uh, so yeah. Anyway, but it's about like the, basically a loser hipster guy and Scott, and yeah, I don't even yeah he didn't have a job yeah and uh, at least not in the beginning. I think he was between opportunities. And <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So anyway, and he has a room. He shares a studio apartment with a gay man, and he's not gay, uh, Wallace Wells. Yeah. So anyway, but um, it's just kind of like a peek into this loser's life in Toronto, um, in the dead of, dead of winter, uh, and he's dating a 17-year-old yeah. Asian girl, because she is a girl, so she's 17. Right. <laughs> Can't call her a woman yet. But yeah, anyway, so it's just kind of, and then finally, when I, he goes to a house party, and just kind of sees this girl and completely falls in love with her. Yeah. And uh, her well, name's first sight, if you will. Right? Yeah, exactly. And like wants to find out who she is. Um, actually, no. Excuse me. She delivers a package first. Sure. That I forgot about that. Sorry. At the library, I think. Yes. Yeah. Yes. And then um, that's when he sees her, and then he sees her again at the party and tries to find out who she is. But anyway, um, she like the premise is is she has seven. X is, uh, and, uh... Key phrasing there. Yeah, yeah. It's, um, yeah. Not ex-boyfriends, but exes. And, um, it's even made into a joke in it. Right. But, uh, but yeah, anyway, so, um, it's hilarious. I, I thought it was very funny. I started reading it, I think, in 2008. Yeah. Something like that. Um, I had heard it from a friend. It's like, oh, you gotta, you gotta read this, man. You'll, you'll, you'll love it. Um, it's a comic that, you know, there, it was written in six books, as they are behind me. But um, they're written black and white, Brian Lee O'Malley. But I'll let Grim take over because he's the historian. <laughs> uh, in terms of just relative other facts, I mean, just um, you know, it, it was this a very, you know quick turn of events from the end of the book to the movie uh, happening within a month apart of each other. Um, I mean, my first, uh, I guess, foray into Scott Pilgrim was, oddly enough, my friend, I don't know if it was the same friend who recommended the book to you, her? Was it which? Yeah, it was yeah. Which. Okay, so our mutual friend, so he was just like, hey, let's go watch this movie, and he's like, let's go watch Scott Pilgrim, and I'm like, Scott Pilgrim, and me being very daft, I'm like, are we watching a like a time period flick, are you watching Pilgrims? What's, what's going on? It's like, dude, it's 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 a movie with a whole bunch of video game reference. You love it. I'm like, yeah, okay, whatever. And so I'm just sitting there, kind of geeked and whatever, and you know, just like eat my uh, sour patch kids or whatever. And then like literally like within the first like 20 seconds of film, I see a 8-bit Universal logo slowly kind of twirl, and then on top of that, it had the, the sound bites of an older. Uh, video game system, which I'm like, oh my gosh, this is phenomenal. Then, leading to other key points in the movie, specifically that I liked, were, you know, when Scott has to use the restroom, he has a pee meter, 
and after he goes to the bathroom, it just shrinks. Yeah. And it's just like empty, which is hilarious. I mean, that's what, you know, the, I will say what Edgar Wright did with the movie that really well was is he incorporated a lot of the effects from the comic book into it. Right. And um, because those are so prevalent. I mean, there's so many. Uh, on, it, it's mostly uh, NES and Sega Genesis era jokes, for sure. But, um, you know, obviously our child, our demographic, for sure. Right. There was, uh, I mean, also points where they used music uh, which is crucial, you know, when you hear it, you know, like Legend of Zelda music, or even just uh, the noises of collecting coins, or the KO from Street Fighter, you know, yeah. it, it just, like, draws you in, and if you're any type of a gamer, you're just elated to hear all this stuff. But those are definitely points in the movie that I really enjoyed. Um, I guess you could fill in some more gaps about the story and, and Scott himself wrote for the, uh, the, the books. Yeah, I mean, with the books, you know, the movie fell, followed it pretty well. Uh, obviously, they didn't cut shit out, but, um, you know, the thing that's always been kind of neat and, you know, it's, I kind of, I guess Clinton or Grimm could also sympathize with this, but, uh, like, Scott was kind of like a surrogate almost to us just because, like, you know, when it comes to women, we probably lack a little confidence in certain departments. We were not savvy <laughs> or sav in any type of way. Yeah, so, possibly. yeah, I mean, and, um, you know, so it was kind of like that. And, like, he, he always never wanted to hurt anybody's feelings when it came to women, for sure. Right. And things like that. So anyway, but, um, you know, like, talking about his like upbringing and stuff like that like uh you know they have flashbacks ones with how he met uh kim pine which is like is one of his best friends bandmate. but also his bandmate yeah, the she's drum, the drummer, drummer yeah. she kind of has the attitude and all that but yeah anyway uh she uh he you know, like saves her from like these two bullies basically and uh ever since then they even had like short romance but they remained friends afterwards right so yeah, anyway, I always kind of was like that and like the video games and uh, it was just kind of something that I kind of felt like he, it was kind of like me, even being kind of like a loser sometimes. Sometimes you feel like that, like I have a job forever. <laughs> Especially during this time, perhaps, for some, a lot of y'all. Yeah, it's been a tough time for a lot of people, uh, especially during a pandemic. Um, I, that led in, at least for, <clears throat> Kim Pine, in terms of the books, it led into other uh, his other girlfriends and things of that sort. Yeah, yeah. I mean, he he dated Envy, which is uh, uh, on the back of this one. Yeah, that chick. She had her own band. I, I mean, I guess what I want to touch on is like comedy more so than anything. Just because, like, uh, I mean, yeah, it's a lot of ref 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 I can't say that reflection. Word. No, no, referral. Like re re reference. <laughs> yeah, like reference jokes, basically. Sure. Family Guy is a good like kind of thing that you could use. But um, I, I, I just thought it was always kind of funny. But it also had like it's very dry humor, very sarcastic. Um, well, there's like a lot of ex sarcastic exchanges, right. um, especially like with his roommate well, uh, Wallace right. and um, his sister is super, super sarcastic. Who I personally, like the actress who plays her, I just love Oh, her. yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, but yeah, is it Arby Plaza? Uh, no, it's Anna Kendrick. Oh, that's Arby, right. Arby Plaza is the popular person that knows a lot of stuff or whatever. Oh, that's right, that's yeah. right. With the evil exes, you know, it, it, like, I, I don't know, you could kind of read on it, like, with the story on as a whole, with Scott fighting her evil ex, evil exes, like, it's basically also kind of maybe a way of saying how Ramona is getting over her past relationships, I think, and, like, right. Gideon was that one guy that she never really got over because there's a lot of references throughout the entire series. And uh, he's always kind of a shadowy background kind of guy. Right. You know, like the evil villain, of course, of video game lore. But um, yeah, it's, I, I, I don't know. It's not for everybody, for damn sure, but for people that watch this and watch this dumb shit, <laughs> like, you know, I'm sure it's you, up your you alley. You need entertainment. Yeah, this yeah. entertainment. Yeah. <laughs>
Aww. But uh, anyway, yeah, I, I always liked it because in the in the uh, comic series, his his personal counsel that him and Wallace played on was the Sega Genesis. Right. And I was like, hell yeah! So I got to rep my Sega Genesis right here. Right. But uh, yeah, also my T-shirt, I guess. But have Todd on it. But yeah, anyway, so um, really good series. It's a it's a good if you want to read something that's just kind of makes fun of things. And hipster life because obviously you can make a put a history is probably like shooting fish in a barrel right but yeah anyhow uh good stuff yeah um so in terms of just you know the the author itself brian the o'malley there's been uh, multiple occasions that actually i've run into him or, or met him uh, i've had the luxury of going to a couple of san diego comic cons and i've met him a couple times to have a conversation with him and he's always super down to earth, always very humble, and always appreciative of his fans. Uh, love signing autographs, at least in that particular setting. I'm not going to tell you to go to Canada and run into the guy and ruin his poor day, but you know he's always been a great person. He's always really relatable and really nice. Um, so I met him like once or twice, talked to him. He's really nice. Um, in terms of, um, <clears throat> isn't he like super like energy too? Uh, he was kind of more mellow a couple times that I've, I've run into him uh, but I would assume with the long lines of you know fans it's harder to do all that <clears throat> um, in terms of uh, just things post Scott Pilgrim or just things in general I think uh, recently on YouTube on uh, was it Entertainment Weekly they did a reunion where they did a table read and it's a very entertaining uh, it's very awesome and even a lot of the uh, actors that were in it just how their careers have evolved yeah. You've had so many superheroes that have come out of this particular uh, video game reference, pop culture reference uh, <laughs> movie, let alone you have, you know, Captain America, Captain Marvel, you have uh, Superman. Sorry, I always forget him because Marvel's... Is Brie Larson? Brie, yeah, Brie Larson. She's Envy. You was she know? really? Yeah. Did you not know that? No. <clears throat> I didn't know she was Bing. Envy. Oh. Yeah. So many things. Uh, and so oh. many... So many different huh. connections and things, and um, it's it's phenomenal. I really enjoyed the movie. I'm a big fan. Um, but you know what you're gonna probably hop into next is we're gonna watch some gameplay. But let's play Scott Pilgrim vs. the World. Well, 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 hold on. I'll interrupt here before that. Uh, you know, maybe we should talk about the game. Oh, my, my apologies. I, I love jumping <laughs> through. I just want to play video games. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah. No, no. I mean, like yeah, this game mm. uh, came out with the movie. Uh, you know, another shout out to I Am 8 Bit. Uh, they did a party for them, I believe, and a little bit of like merchandise. This is obviously a shirt from them um, for the video game itself. Uh, but yeah, it, it came out in uh, 2012, 2011. Oh, well, then I don't know if I'll have to fact check that. Right. It's on the screen. I'll, I'll throw it up, up there. <laughs> there we go. That'll be our. Uh, we'll come out with a shirt that says it. <laughs> we'll throw it up there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Anyway, it's the scattering of random facts that we've forgotten over the. Oh, off of the we should watch Shin Godzilla one time. It has like all this, you know, text that comes up on the thing, and then it's obviously translated to English, so it just like fills the entire screen. But it's a parody, of course. It's or a satire, I guess you could say, where it's just you know too much information. Anyway, yeah. I digress. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, so when the game came out. I was super stoked on it because I had read the first few comics. Um, you know, the, the sixth one had come out and I've just finished it. So I was super stoked on it. I just reread the whole thing and it, it was awesome because it basically encapsulated the entire 16 bit era. Like, it, uh, it's obviously a big homage to uh, River City Ransom. Just how, you know, you had your fighters, you level up with coins, by eating food, right. random food, or reading books, uh, and, you know, of course you have your bosses and stuff like that, but um, if you actually, the thing I love about this game so much is as you're playing it, like, uh, there's actions in the background that are direct calls out to actions that happen within the comics. Oh, okay. Like one was like in the first level that it sticks out in my mind, Wallace 
mix out with I think one of uh, Scott Pilgrim's sister. I forget her name is. Um, uh, I can't remember. Sorry. Her boyfriend, right? Y yeah, starts making out with her ex boyfriend or boyfriend. Yeah, yeah it yeah. was the boyfriend. So yeah. So yeah, and but if you look in the background, you see Wallace making out with another guy, and you're right. like, oh wow, at the club that you're fighting Patel at. Nice. So anyway, stuff like that. Uh, it's hard as shit. I do remember that. Yeah. Um, you know, leveling up the characters when I when it first came out, I there was like a s s cheesing way of basically grinding money to go level up and like le level one, I believe it was, um, with the secret shops. But uh, yeah, anyway, we'll eventually show you that. Probably, mm -hmm. you know, abbreviated for damn sure because it'll be forever. <laughs> But yeah, anyway, so you had to get up your guys up, you had to unlock the special moves on each level. Um, Knives Chow came out, which was yeah, a DLC. Yeah. Um, you know, I did download that and I played her a little bit, but at that point I had beaten the game with all four characters wow. and Nega Scott. Mm. So I was kind of like, eh, you know, I didn't, I was kind of over it at that point. Right. But um, anyway, that's my experience. Yeah. Um, I mean, to, to what we're hearing, you know, um, <clears throat> they did say that they were going to re-release re the game. They do not know what capacity. Um, our hope is there's a physical release because every time this game has been uh, digital. Yeah. Um, so hopefully one of the wonderful companies out there, may it be 8-Bit, Limited Run, or whatever game uh, uh, company creates physical copies, will produce one, if not... Uh, the developer itself mm -hmm. um so hopefully if that's the case we'll hopefully pick it up I, mean, I think it's definitely buy for us oh i mean i could imagine like vinyl on this game too because the thing i forgot to mention the was the soundtrack it's amazing it's great i mean uh anna managuchi uh i believe they're a new york band okay new jersey or new york um but they're great mm -hmm. i mean everything's like sound chip music so it fits perfectly with the 8-bit 16-bit era okay uh, but it, it grinds. Yeah. I mean, it's it's like it, each each level is kind of different. I mean, I bought that album on iTunes. <laughs> nice. You know, and it was just like I was like when it came out, I was like, yep, instant purchase. Correct. I mean, yes, am I a like hipster level ninety nine on this and would buy it on vinyl? You goddamn right, I would be. <laughs> I, I, I I I could see that happening. Ape it, you heard me. I'm speaking to you through this. So any company that does make it, please target us or possibly even send us a sample. So we'll yeah, yeah. with you. And you know, uh, included the gameplay is just you know we always have some mementos of um, particular series we like. And Brian Lee O'Malley and then Scott Pilgrim, we have a lot of stuff. So uh, across the back here is Shafe's copies of the Scott Pilgrim. If you want to go ahead and talk a little bit about that. Uh, yeah, I mean, like I said, they they came out in soft, I guess, graphic novel. Yeah. Is that what it is technically? But uh, these are special editions that came out on Oni Press, which is the publisher. And uh, Bobby! Shush. Sorry. So anyway, um, this came out in 2012, I believe. And uh, they released them like every other month or something like that. But yeah. this is the evil edition. To my knowledge, uh, the only difference really is the variant cover. Uh, I, I, I'll throw it up there, fuck it. Um, if it's different. But yeah, anyway, I couldn't find it at the time of research before this. But um, the thing that was great about this was is they colored it. Because kind of a running joke in it was uh, Ramona changed her hair color. And it was like, it, it, you couldn't fucking tell the difference in, in the comic book. Because right. like, they'd be like, oh my god, Ramona, you changed your hair color. And it <laughs> just went the fucking same. You know? But yeah, anyway, so now you can notice that hair color change. Right. Baby! Killing my recording. Anyway, so it goes all the way through. Uh, this one, uh, Grim was nice enough to sit in line while I sat in line for an action figure for him. But I uh, got this sign for me for Brian Lee O'Malley, but was big enough fan. You know, like I said, I read it while I was young. Um, you know, merchandise wise, there's not really much with it. There's I mean, a board game I, I know that we don't have, and oh, okay. I'm sure there's like, you know, a, a sweat sleeve that, you know, Scott was wearing at the time. No, oh, well, yeah, I mean, you know, the t shirts and stuff like that, but, you know, it's 
It's, uh, it was like one of those things where it was kind of elusive for a while, and even the movie came out, and it still stayed elusive because everybody was like, what, what the, what the fuck is this? But anyway, uh, it's, it's good stuff. I mean, realistically, if you're into anything video games and pop culture of the early 90s, 2000s, this shit's for you. Yeah. So, um, I actually have pretty much all these as well in this Evil Editions, you know, just because for big fans. Uh, I actually have my copy too, which is actually signed by Brian Lee O'Malley, which is really awesome. Yeah, um, his is better than mine. Because <laughs> so, he stood there in the night. But <laughs> like, like I said, uh, Brian Lee O'Malley, mad respect. He's a really, really yeah, nice guy. Yeah. Uh, his follow up book is over here. No, just, no, I think this was first, wasn't it? I thought this was right after Lost in Space. Oh, Street. you might be right. You might um, be right. And so this was uh, something that uh, came out in my uh, assumption afterwards. If it's wrong, go ahead and correct me in yeah. the comments. Make me look like a fool, but feel free. Um, this yeah. this story is. I'll uh, beat you to that. Right. This story is really really nice. Uh, well, not nice, but um, a good story, a good read. I enjoyed it quite a bit. Um, and it just kind of definitely fits kind of the tone that Brian has for his writing. Um, a couple other minor pieces. Uh, he was the uh, artist for uh, Snot Girl, for a comic that was written by Image, uh, for Image rather. Uh, so I have a couple of those issues um, as a comic book collector. We're actually really big comic book collectors along with video games, so uh, if we ever get a chance to talk about comic books, it's going to be... The vices are many, let me, let me tell you. And then uh, I also have a copy of his variant cover of The Young Avengers, which is, you know, you can definitely... Just wanted to get that glare out. Very uh, reminiscent of the his art style and that type of thing. So sorry for the glare, but yeah, uh, gigantic fans. Um, so yeah, I mean, you know, it's a joy. Hopefully, you guys enjoy our gameplay. We'll definitely talk about the comic and stuff as we play. Um, bear with us. We might suck for a little bit before we level things up here. Yeah, um, <laughs> we're using my copy where I play. I play played through it once. And never got an opportunity to go through it again. Yes, and may may I mention this here? I am going to complain a little bit. Oh, surprise! <laughs> <laughs> but uh, like, you can't record PS3 on a freaking Elgato HD 60s yeah. because of the HDCP, and it's just like so frustrating. So uh, we'll fix that eventually. I just don't want to. I don't feel like going to Best Buy and. Paying for a seventy dollar one, it's ridiculous. Sure, but anyway, uh, one day we'll, we'll. Oh yeah, my PS3. I like. I had all my players except for knives. Right. So it, in terms of that, you know, it, it'll be a an entertaining watch. It'll be on my Xbox 360. So uh, enjoy the gameplay. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll be talking through the whole thing. So hopefully, you'll get tired of our voices. Yeah, I mean, right? All right, boys and girls, here we go with Scott Pilgrim vs. the World uh, on Xbox 360. Bringing you back. <laughs> <laughs> It is kind of nice that they tried to do it in like it's relative 16 bit. I think it's a little, a little more than that though. 3 2 x <laughs> Xbox. No! I'm kidding. Holy bricks. Alright, so if we see the little piggy getting a coin, it is saving. Yes. Winners don't eat meat. Yes. The vegan. All right, so uh, let me ask you, who, you, who are you going to play? Uh, probably one of the local characters, so either Scott or... Uh, well, no, you, I'm going to choose... I'm going to let you choose first, and I'll play who, uh, whomever you do not. I'll probably choose Scott. Okay, I'll be... Uh, oh, shit. Ironically, my... <laughs> oh, no, you go ahead, because then I don't... I don't, don't want to be first player. You know oh, what I mean? Yeah, only more. Sure. No, is it rough and rough and tough medium? Yeah, we should do rough and tough. Ride right or die, brother! <laughs> I forgot. How do you change your color? Yes. Because I like their skin. The blue hair. Oh really? She's the one who has her play. Oh, alright, well, 
Here we go, then. <laughs> Hopefully I don't get my butt kicked. But uh, that's, I, I, that's I, I, probably going to happen. This is... Yeah, we're in level... Yeah, good. Yeah, we got this. Dude, this soundtrack of my life, son. That's a, I mean, I, I was uh, just making sure my system worked yesterday. This was... I was jamming to it, literally. Aw, uh, dude. They nailed it in this game. So, what the... What, I forget. Is there so anything why, I could yeah. do? Hit B and you'll throw him. Oh. And if you double dash and attack, you'll slide and attack like this. Take the head bump and nail that right button. No, I remember. Why is the heavy attack? No forgot I, I know there's like a Yes. Yes. Get your medicine. there's like a thing that you can get like if you I think you parry if you time it correctly does that sound right yes ow I do have to look at the combos I think I should take a peek at them right now well I think it's for you isn't it oh no it's not spawn object okay so this is <laughs> you have nothing! That's a retro picture right there. Fuck it, super retro. <laughs> 1920s, 30s. Ah, what? Oh. Yes. 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 So good. <laughs> oh, it's a pet. It's a skull this time. Oh, you son of a bitch, you have so much- Oh, that's right, I forgot. Get up, girl! Oh, I couldn't get up! This time. I died! Help me get up! No, no, I thought it was you. I 
power? Something like that. Oh. Cause you bet you have it. Oh yes. Now you can do down and X. Press it. Do it. Tell everybody how good it is. It's pretty amazing. It, it, <laughs> it, it, it kind of gets you high. I hate it that when they're on the ground, there's no real way to hit. You can't just put a slide in. I don't think I have a slide. Just put four twice and then I just do Yeah, I, I just do it. It's like she either punches. Oh, like that? You see? see? Help me. Oh, God. Oh, okay. Coming down. Oh, if everybody isn't aware, the coins are supposed to be loonies in frickin' caribou. <laughs> Quarters for Canadian money. Yes. Oh, they're all on top of me. Oh my god. Of course, you level up. Oh, you level up. Oh, it was you. No, you. Except for one, I didn't move. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh. Pay attention to No, I mean, I level I'm up. shocked. Did I, did you not level up though? For her? No, you. I did right before we entered the park. When I had that happen like a million times, where you're like, when I was flashing oh, yellows. Oh yes, yes, yes. Okay. Oh, I love that you can't hurt each other. That's so so good. It makes things a lot easier. It's just like that. I mean, really, in real life, I get it. Like, you could hit each other, but it's like realistically, you. Would, if you're a great fighter, you would oh, know Jesus. how nice you would be. That's my debate. <laughs> Does it change my mind? <laughs> Whatever the fucking name is. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, we need to not let that flank us. <laughs> I'm gonna grab that. <laughs> oh. oh. Yeah, see? I'm telling you, it's a lot easier with two people. Look at this. We're, we're butt raping. Oh. Oh. And that's prison talk for you, children. Yes. <laughs> totally appropriate to talk about. <laughs> oh. Oh. Yes, let it rain. What a bitch. Yes. Remember, hit, hitting him with the heavy shit. Oh. Is that, is that oh. a tactic for them? Heavy attacks? Yeah, well, when they block. Or just grabbing a tire. Like, what do you do? Remember there being a hyper annoying with only one person. Imagine all three of these people, these things coming after you. You're, are you dead? Yeah. Oh shit. Hold on. Oh no, dude. Are you serious? I have two more guys. Combo them after I get them on the ground. It's just, it just it bothers me. I'm not sure. Like, is she just incapable of it? Maybe you have to learn the combos and have to learn the combos as well. Oh, forgot I could pick that up. <laughs> See, like, how, how in the heck can you not stop and get that? Oh, wait a minute, come over here real quick. Oh, no, but I mean, like, you know, you ever see Clockwork Orange? <laughs> like, where he takes a gigantic penis and bumps it on the woman's head? Like, how how could you... Oh, yeah, you could go in there. Hold on, we could go in there. It's, uh... 
hyper space or whatever. Highlight. Right? Yeah. It's a bonus hit, right? I believe so, yes. I think it's flying face. Yeah, right? And then we got a program. Oh no. Un unfortunate. Fine. Fine. <laughs> oh, that was a short ass one. Well, oh, oh, right in the face. In the face. Oh, right. Totally toast. Yep. Here she goes.
think we actually heard that over. We shot there. Oh. It's gonna save the best. Yeah. Dude, it was crucial because I came back with a shit ton of health. There's Wallace. Er, yeah. Oh, right? Oh, bookstore. So this is the expensive shit that really like give you give you levels up. Okay, or a Ford Ambrosia or a Locos. Well, hold on. I know I sent you the Oh, it doesn't tell you. Wait. No, 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 no. This is a different shot. All right, fuck me. Okay. 
yeah, anyway, so now you know. <laughs> but, oh. Dude. Oh, no, no. Yes. So pissed at like, the circumstances here. Yeah, this game is considerable. I just, I'm so upset that I can't really hurt again. Yeah. I've tried everything. I can't jump attack if you drop on a person. But everybody else can. <laughs> like, what the fuck? Oh, oh, oh. Right? I mean, it is okay. <laughs> it's not right for us. Talking about another pedophile, apparently. <laughs> what, Jonesy K? Yeah, you didn't hear about it? No. Yeah, some shit. Oh my. Like another, uh. Yeah, I don't want to go into it because it's all, you know, allegations right now, but. I think it was, uh. He said he got a little too handsy. <laughs> He admitted to him yeah, getting a little too handsy with underage boys. Broke my heart. Just, uh, just do this. <laughs> There is a thing, I forget what it is. Wait, hold on. You can, you can... Yeah, I don't know. There, there was something I remember, though, where... Um, I do want to see this for a second, though. Oh, I have to hold it now, I see. So it's right, right. Next way. So now I do have it. No, I'm at four. Oh, shit. Then I don't know why I saw the box. Um, Alright, so I do need to use the... Oh, yeah. Alright. So what was your Crash favorite... Crash and the boys. What was your favorite part of the movie? Um... Oh, there's a kiss, there's a kiss up there. Yep. Cool. Oh yeah. Son. Yeah. Patel take it long and hard. Oh you evil motherfucker. I'm gonna stop this. 
can't remember that. Oh, you don't do that. Oh, you don't do that. Alright, there's my There's my Wait, wait, let's send him over here so we can see him. Remember that shit. <laughs> oh, is that you? Oh, yes. I mean, not that it was that. Woo! That was epic. Ah! Oh, I'm dazed! Motherfucker! <laughs> and I Oh! You got a huge help focus on that. <laughs> you see that? Yeah. Oh, I'm just hot. Yeah. yeah. Let me get this. You're almost dead. Hey! Oh! oh. Oh, I, I can't have beaten this game. <laughs> <laughs> or, oh no, it's me because I, oh, I, 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 I was just like, I thought I'd played through this once before. Not to say that's impressive by any stretch. Well, that's that's uh, level one. Do you remember exactly? Pacifist? For me or you? I, I was. I don't get it. What a... Yeah, it's yeah, because I think there's yeah, I think there's eight. It's good, you know. It's set up like Super Mario Brothers three or Super Mario World. Yeah, it's Captain America. Yeah. Or Kenny Fish. Or Chris Evans. Oh, oh, what? I didn't even get a chance. This is so. This is where I can wind back and forth. Yes. Oh. 
I forgot. So this is how, this is like one of the ways that you can pass money between each other. And um, I can't remember. I, like there, there's something. That you can do. Maybe they patched it because I couldn't find anything. Else. It's like the Capcom uh, fire fire body desk. Oh shit! I forgot about that. <laughs> How did that happen? <laughs> Wait. How <laughs> would I ever pick you up like that? It's garbage. on your team, bruh. Oh, I couldn't recover. Yeah, now I need to go. 
We made it past the first level. He's like invincible with the skateboard. Avenge you! It's gotta be almost dead, right?
So it's because I think I have, more, have more kills. kills but yeah, like. Uh, Do I get to come in or no? Probably, right? Thank <laughs> you. 
Wow, what? Rich bitch. Oh. oh, I thought it would. Be. I was like trying to lock you so you could recover, but I guess that doesn't. God. Yes. I'm rich, bitch! 
Ah! Oh, it's over. Oh! <laughs> no! It was so frustrating. The assist. Oh, look at the guy in the bottom. Come on. Well, I think we gotta.
FYI, if it, oh. if it is, just let me die, okay? You got two. We go out in the hall for this, or what? Like, the movie? I, I, yeah, I think he kicks us out. Or, you know, uses his vegan powers. Vegan powers to mine. <laughs> there it is. Now I think we play Guitar Hero for a second. Oh, no. Yeah. <laughs> 
Fuck yeah.